And we have breaking news right now. A woman's body has been found in a car on Cedar Crest in Pasadena. That's right. Police just confirming to us here in the last 30 minutes uh, over the phone. Now, Brianna Connor is joining us live right now from the scene with the very latest. And Brianna, we know you just got there on the ground. What can you tell us? Well, this is likely a case of deadly domestic violence just a couple of days into October, which of course is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. The scene is just behind me, but we're told this all started this morning, shortly before 10 o'clock in Pasadena. Police got a call from people in an apartment complex off Red Bluff that a man with a gun had forced a woman into an SUV. Their detective work led them to this scene here that you're looking at in southeast Houston. It's some type of rail yard or construction site some place where the suspect may have decided to leave the SUV with the body inside of a woman. Investigators just told me that these two people had previously been in a relationship. In fact, they have a child together. That child, I can confirm, is okay. They're with relatives this evening. Now, authorities have not released the name of the woman who was shot and killed or the man who is now a suspect in her kidnapping. We expect to learn his identity just as soon as charges have been accepted from the district attorney's office. It is still pending on whether he will be charged in this woman's murder. That's about as much as we know right now. We are still at this scene talking with people in the area, trying to figure out if they saw anything suspicious happening out here. But again, likely a case of deadly domestic violence. I just talked with this uh, sergeant with Pasadena Police. He told me they just this morning tied purple ribbons around trees at the department to raise awareness about domestic violence, and they had planned to have a news conference about prevention and awareness on Thursday.